come and speak today. So why don't we stand up to our feet? We're going to give a huge Calvary welcome to Winton, our year nine student. Come on, give him a round of applause. Good morning, church. How are we going? So good to be here today. My name is Winton and I go to Calvary Youth. Um, this morning, I want to share a little bit about how God's changed my life. And um, thank you, Tim and Aisha in Rockhampton for this incredible opportunity. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to um, kick us off with a verse. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 says, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but for everyone to come to repentance. Now, if that's not a reason for evangelism, then I don't know what is. Like... God doesn't just want you and your friends to be saved, but every single person you encounter every day. Yeah, you know, there's no more or less. Everyone's the same, right? Yeah. God has firmly placed evangelism on my heart. And it's not just that, but he's also given me courage like I've never felt before. Like more recently, past couple months, just insane amount of courage. And it's it's been been um, given me courage to able to invite young people to youth and, and to help people who do need Jesus make good decisions. And it's just simple things like that that help um, people take the first step on the path to righteousness. And he hasn't put it on my heart for me or for my own well-being, but for others, for other people. Yeah. Um, we are all his children, so him giving me that opportunity to go out and, and be courageous and, and see people's life change is, is really special. I've been responding to God's call on my life by stepping out in faith and letting God lead the way. It can be scary and won't always go to plan, but God's plan is beyond our comprehension, right? Yeah. And that's what's so powerful about being with God. You know, you, you could be in a room um, full of people who know Jesus and have your life changed, but if you're the one person who knows Jesus in a room full of people who don't, it's yeah. just as powerful. Yeah, you can yeah, change yeah. lives just as easy. Um, Friday night we had Josiah Wilhelm come in and preach and it was awesome. He's such a good guy. Um, and he said something that really spoke to me. He said that um, when he was in his later years of school having fun with his mates, he, um, he wished more than anything that someone had just run up to him and grabbed him and been like, hey, like, what are you doing, man? You know, you're having fun. You're having fun with your mates and you're not, you're not um, these are your best friends who you love so much and you won't be able to see them saved and you won't be able to spend eternity with them. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy stuff, but it's so true. Um, so the question that drives me to God's influence and, and to what he's placed on my heart is how far are you willing to go to see your loved one saved? Yeah. Yeah. Right? And I think that's really cool. That just motivates me. That makes me think I'm willing to go far enough to people I, I don't love see saved. Yeah. People I don't know see saved. Um, you know that saying when people people are like, go on, you won't. Like, you won't do that. Like, it's, it's motivating. It's like you just want to do it. Sometimes it's not always necessary. But it's like, oh, we're not going to do it. We're not going to, you know, say any of the unnecessary examples. But um, it just makes you want to do something. And um, God whispers that motivation through me to step outside my comfort zone and do something he's spoken over me. Yeah. Some cool examples are like, go on, you won't start a connect group at your school. Kiwana Water State College now has a connect group every Wednesday at home. So cool. Um, go on, you won't get up and preach Sunday morning at church. Here I am. Go on, you won't invite that new kid to youth and show him God's love. He's at youth almost every Friday night now because of the lifelong friends he has made and because of the connection and the foundation he's made with Jesus. We are the hands and feet of Jesus and it is our responsibility to step out in courage and share the love of God so that none shall perish but all shall have eternal life. God has changed my life by using me to change others. I'd love to pray for you guys today, to this morning. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity that, that you give us every day to step out in faith and make good decisions. Lord, I thank you that, that you give us the choice to be able to see our, our friends and loved ones saved every single day. I pray that you open our eyes to see what you see, God. 
And I pray that everyone in this room can hear your words and motivate them to do something outside their comfort zone. And I also pray that we have an awesome youth camp coming up real soon. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 generation and uh, young Winston uh, on Friday nights you might find him leading the rap at youth you might see him leading the offering he just did on Friday but who knows that at school he's asking them, himself the question you won't you won't well, what a challenging question I dare you and uh, can we just give him one more round of applause yeah.